Warning, I swear a lot. See, what I love about this game is that it basically LPs itself. You just read the scripts. Oh, yeah. I could see you eyeing up Joseph. Which one's Joseph? The middle. Oh. <laughs> the one who accidentally talked about your dead spouse. Oh, yeah. Nice. Welcome back, everyone. It's Dream Daddy. I'm joined again by Liam. Mr. Lemon. Yes. Lemon, Liam, Lemon. In his quest to find hunky dads. A quest I'm in full support of. And will assist to the best of my ability. We're home now. You had your coffee, now you have to sleep. Yes. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a couple months. No! Don't no. say that. Hmm. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know. I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit. I'll text you every day. I'll take lots of pictures and drugs. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. You're gonna have to hook me up with a heroin supplier, though. <laughs> I don't know where to find those. I'm oh, just a teenager. I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> Daddy will look through his contacts. <laughs> See who we can find. Of course, you're gonna be okay by your lonesome. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Dogs are good boys. Or four dads. A dog! Oh, forget our school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it will cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> you say that. Have you ever been to a vet? No, it's bad. <laughs> Amanda laughs. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Damn. Speaking of college. Cool leg. Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. I'm gonna, but I'm scared. <laughs> it's just an envelope. What if it bites me? Yeah, it's just like my entire future is not a big deal or nothing. <laughs> She takes a deep breath and rips the open letter open with her teeth. The, te the letter reached her teeth open. We have a letter opener, <laughs> but okay. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Um, we... Mm. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Aww. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Fucking bullshit! Oh, sweetie. Mm. It's fucking bullshit! I mean, it's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. It wasn't technically legal. <laughs> so, yeah, that was weird. But I posed so well. <laughs> Didn't they see? Everything? Everything. It was illegal, though. The admissions officer told me they want to see portraits and not snuff, but you know. I pull a mandarin for a big hug. Nah. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? I'm just mm. saying it. I'm fine, really. You're just saying it. No. Her face says the opposite, but... I probably shouldn't push her on this. Ah. Better not. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. What? So get the fuck out of the house. So? Literally. <laughs> you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Get out. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Trolling the streets looking for daddies. <laughs> I was gonna think Warhammer, but sure. <laughs> Quick, think of plans. Oh fuck, Warhammer. I'm secretly the mayor of this town, got us attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. Uh, Time to club. Secret. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my main mayor my 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 I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I might preside over my mayor stuff. My ma 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 I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor. Right? Mm, he was not. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game. The game? 
You've just lost the game. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which game? You know, the the game, the the one that's on tonight. Uh huh. The game. Uh, yeah. On TV. Oh. Uh, somewhere other than here. Of course. Okay. Cool. 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 While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmers. I thought I told you, <laughs> no doing drugs without me. No doing drugs with the Emmers, they're a bad influence. And come on, I could get my tennis ball and we could go do some light arson together. We can set that fucking police station to the ground. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Uh. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe more money laundering at the very least. Yeah, as a start. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime. Right? No. Oh. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Just yeah. making sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. You have fun, Dad. <laughs> have fun with your sports. <sighs> Are you being sarcastic? Aww. No, making fun of sports is played out. <laughs> oh, mm, all right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before uh, I end the uh, Time for drugs! God damn it. This <laughs> town's some good drugs. Oh man. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow, so don't get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Oh uh, yeah, alright. Mr. Vega. Yeah, from Street Fire. Yeah, totally remembered. I'll, I'll be there. If you don't, he'll beat you up. Wow. I, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, but I can sense it. And Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, so I'm just going to pick a direction and walk it. I'll fucking go there. They don't cool. call me Alexander Hamilton for nothing. Okay, we're marching. We're, we're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. Please, just mm. a game. In the distance. Could it be? A game? Video games! Oh. A big burned out neon sign hangs above Tiny Dive Bar. Jim and Kim, sir. Alright, it'll do. Oh man. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls. Sound in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover over the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. Both. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me a nice, cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Shall we? <laughs> if you can find it. Yeah, yeah. So, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil! Shit, that's a curveball. <laughs> oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but it's currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. I find. The brightly coloured mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favourite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. I am a fan of the opposing team. I don't like it. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colours of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demeanour that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. These people never went to Britain, did they? No. <laughs> a middle-aged woman holding a newly emptied wine glass sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to her. Uh, hi, Stella! Oh no. Oh. Hello. You're not a Good to see f <gasps> fresh me in here. I'm Merritt. You call it Arthur? Oh, no, I actually just moved this part of town today. I'm Liam, by the way. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I watch a game. Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If this keeps up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh. Oh, I love that town. I also love that game. I love people and know how to <laughs> I'm getting the impression <laughs> uh, she's maybe a teeny little bit drunk. What? Um, I better get out quick. Buy gala drink! Ugh. If I buy her a drink, she'll end up on the floor. But if I don't buy her a drink, she might break that bottle over my head. It's possible. I'm gonna have to go with the lesser of two evils here. I die! I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. It's a fucking verb. <laughs> she tips a glass at me. Don't that guy keep you company now? Hey. Don't I know. 
What's your deal? Uh, what do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip around it? Tell me gossip about the daddies. Your cab to the right. right. Mm. Uh, uh. Um, I mean, so I watch, I watch people. I see everything, not every what, nothing past get me. Are you okay? Uh, so? <laughs> so what? I thought you were gonna... Uh, ah. I uh, forgot what we were talking about. I do you have funny hair? Do you always cut it like that? No, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's always like that. Uh, That's so funny! Uh, about, the, about the gossip. What? You said nothing gets past you? When? Alright, what do I still trap confidential to a fault? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should have asked a different question. Maybe talk to a different person. So, so what else can you tell me about this part of town? Ah. It's quiet, that's for sure. There's no one here with like a really big dick. It's all like average. Now I'm with like a really big one. Uh, there's just so many <laughs> Mr. Skinny Dicks around there. It's your boy. Mr. Skinny Dick. If you want an idyllic little life with white pink fences, there's a place to do it. Every time it's a secret. So oh, you know. secret. Tell me more. She takes a The secret. lack of giant dick. <laughs> that was pretty clear. <laughs> Not much of a secret, then, is it? <laughs> it isn't now. She takes a sip of a drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. I don't want to hear about big dicks like that. Ah, I'm talking about big dicks. But I haven't found my dream daddy yet. I don't want to know. Let me rate you my top 10 favorite dicks. <laughs> she leans closer. Oh. Hey. Do you like to lie to my secrets? Are they named Victoria? Shit. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Maybe some other time. Uh. Don't you doubt that I'm not even a sailor. Why did she keep calling me on that? I've never been to sea. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron. To What's up, there? I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close to what I'm comfortable with. This is unsettling. After a particular skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead. In the, the, the lead. Putting them ahead. Uh, the beer hit a bit too hard. Two beers and Jesus. I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. <clears throat> Go team. It's the brooding man from the coffee shop spoon. He sits alone. <laughs> I was sure it was going to be coffee shop. <laughs> From coffee soup spoon shop. He sits alone, sipping whiskey. I'm watching the game as well. He's classier than us. Enjoying the game. Dark, mysterious man. I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. Maybe we can bond over the sense of competition. I'm sure we can. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there. <laughs> <laughs> and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. Go team. The game, <laughs> the game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Damn. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. Yay. I respect a valve. I start a bargain of. <laughs> I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. The game. He motions to the bartender. He pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides on over to me. Getting fucked up. The name's Robert. Robert Braffy. Thanks. No relation. I'm Liam. Hey. You must be new here. Mary already here on you? Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, it was dreadful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. Slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. For doing copious amounts of cocaine in the bathroom. <laughs> is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No, that'd be Neil. Damn. Ah. Neil, Neil waves from across the bar. <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. Yeah, need more Neils. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer. But I'll drink most things. Yeah. Your dick. I'll drink your dick. 
Like shots of my dick? Ooh, shots fired. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gonna be a problem. Oh no, I picked the wrong option. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to you. <laughs> Here's to your health. <laughs> he just completely <laughs> went. <laughs> that was my fault. I'll, I'll take that one on the chin. I got carried away. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Hey. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Yeah. Okay, Liam, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. We I can love do it. this. I believe in you, Liam. You can do it. I Come believe on, in you. Come You've on. Got this. Compliment this cool leather jacket. Compliment this rugged looks. Compliment this hand tattoo. Ooh, what are you thinking? What? Rugged good looks. Ooh. Your face is good. Yes. Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. What have I done? <laughs> oh no! This is what I want to do. You will be friends. taking shots of that dick. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Yeah. Oh, and wait, he cool might have a large dick. We don't know. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me at the house running from my problems trying to make friends. My daughter kicked me at the house. It's true. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Mm. Family type, huh? Single dad. Mmm. Oh. He gets up. Oh. Be right back. Got a powder my nose. We take a massive shit. He's gonna powder his nose with cocaine. <laughs> I'm gonna powder the toilet bowl with my shit. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> about the brown gold that comes out of <laughs> Colombia. Uh, never seen Robert the Stalkative. He must like you. Huh? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just do drugs in my bar? <laughs> you can't do that. You have to go to the bathroom. But I did it while we were making eye contact, so I <laughs> thought it was fine. <laughs> it's not. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, I really must be. I don't. I hope he doesn't get any ideas. I'm not up for a good dicking tonight. That's unfortunate. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. And we go home. You heading my way? I guess so. You're heading his way. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Mm. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live here? Yes. There's only six people in this town. <laughs> Me too. We just unfinished band packing oh. today. Great place to be. Good neighbours. Well... Some of them. Ooh, drama! Joseph's a fucking Who's punk. that? We get to Robert's house. Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine, we stop, and he turns to me, looks me dead in the face, and asks, cash or credit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't kiss and tell, Liam. So are we doing this or what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you know, do you want to come inside or not? That's a double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> A wave of realisation rushes over me. I blush. Robert Senpai, you're so lewd! Lay it on smooth, smile and nod. No thank you. What's it gonna be? Lay it on smooth. Oh fuck. Well, I don't see why not. Hmm. That sounded smoother in my head. Let's do it. Now you get to read the next bit. I follow him up <laughs> to his door. <laughs> 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 Go on, yeah. man. You got the beer, you could do it. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Mm -mm. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. It's so dark and I can't see anything before Robert, but Robert's intense expression. I'm so intense. He kisses me again and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I like to shuck. I come clumsily. <laughs> <laughs> I clumsily take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I, 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 I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? Yes. Oh. Actually, actually I should probably get going. Cock block. Robert steps back. Alright. I, I think I'm gonna head home. Sorry. Nah, that's cool. So Robert's a cool guy. I head home. Or a my modern guy, I should say. My head's still spinning with the anxiety of turning Robert down. The sight of the couch helps me compartmentalize, though. And before I know it, I'm having dreams about my teeth falling out. It happens. So when I play this, I totally fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm getting that dick. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. 
Rise and shine, bust the wall, whack out. It's Craig, by the way, as a smiley face. But... Hey, crap. It's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Alright, just leave me on read then, bro. Whoops, uh, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still wanna get you swallowed up. I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up! God, the last thing I wanna do right now is black out. Come on, bro. But it's Craig. I do wanna catch up. Yeah, bro. Chris is Jim. Yeah! Hey, my man. I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in, uh, 20, say? After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing, meet me at the gym. You know where it is, because you go there all the time. I stretch, my bones creak. Ugh. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fall asleep. What a good egg. Bless that child. Yay. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throwing on the only clothes that I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. It's just pants. <laughs> the neighbourhood is quiet and serene. This early in the morning. Oh, that's, that's a full sentence. I Damn. do that a lot. Bears chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing up front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves. Oh, bro! Good morning! Hey, good to see him, man. Man. Uh, I'm definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Oh. You ready to kiss him, boy? <laughs> <laughs> These are all great. This is it. This is how I die. Oh. It happens. Oh, it'll be alright, dude. What is your into here? Also, I didn't like that. I don't know if you saw. I saw. That was ominous. It looked like he was about to combust. I might. We head into the gym, and I'm immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half, and it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. I've broken all of them in half. He high fives and finger guns all of the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money on protein shakes. I'm gonna do that. Come on, bud, let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a place, decent place to be. Walking. Do it, man. So, uh, I know we're on the treadmills. Hmm. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Hmm. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> ah, you're a newbie. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee you all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I watch as a dude and a muscle teeth flexes a muscle I didn't know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. That's the wheel of pain. What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? Nice. That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Training to crush people's skulls with his thighs. Yeah. He's he's trying to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls with them. Hey. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. God. I'm up to seven skulls. I play devil daggers. Oh no, Craig is turning up to speed. I better do the same. Let's go! How, uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? Uh, a couple of years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? I jack off like a lot. <laughs> also, I coach my twin softball team. Not at the same time. No, no, I must make that clear. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Yeah, it sure mm. does. Uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I don't know what a Jimmy Buffett song is. No, I don't know what a Jimmy Buffett song is either. I love learning. I like learning. I love learning. I try to educate myself about the world around me. I'm like a sponge for knowledge. Soaking up all of that intellectual content, you know, uh, history, uh, the paranormal, uh, wilderness survival, uh, a the aliens. Aliens? Mostly those things, yeah. So you watch the History Channel too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. We're jogging off. Oh, we're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. What are you do, bro? I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. Yeah, man. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm uh, dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Yeah, man. So much sweat. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? Uh, weird throwback, but okay. Uh, weird flex, but alright. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't like this story. 
<laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? Oh, I guess I better do it too. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. <laughs> uh, we were at that party, and you vowed to make me feel better, and you tell me to create a distraction. So of course I do a sick kickstand and get everyone cheering. And then I uh, try to steal a fish from a fish tank uh, with a bare hands. <laughs> Like an idiot! Nice! <laughs> and then you drop the fish that's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me post kickstand with a dying dirty fish in your hands and you scooped off the ground and you yell at me that we have to leave! Hey. So we run out of a frat party with a fish and you try to give it mouth to mouth resuscitation and we get it <gasps> home and into a bowl of water. But the prognosis was grim. And the next day he's. <laughs> Alive and well. Yeah. Not like me. Dude. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never <laughs> will. will. <laughs> I shoot off the ends of the cred treadmill and crash into the wall. Oh, Jesus, that hurts. Nice. <laughs> Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. Oh, no, you have a bruise on your tush. I'm. I better rub it. Fantastic. Let me rub the br okay. I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh, you don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, six inches, no more. <laughs> I, I, I think I might call that gym adventure here. Hmm. You sure? That was the warm up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't handle the warm up. <laughs> All right. Well, here I brought you this. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must appear to be apparent distaste. It's my, it's a protein shake, bro. Oh, uh, thank you. Drink it. He wants me to drink it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, here it goes. Bottom down the hatch. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Oh, I thought that was the crap one. Wow. This is really good. <laughs> and good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Hey. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we could not launch you into a wall. Uh, maybe treadmills are just speed. No, no pun intended, bro. Good one. Well, yeah. I'm going to go put on some ice on this everything. Yeah. I'll see you around. Bye. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm. Now he can run circles around me. Literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. Man, you got that skinny spelt thing going on though. Ladies and the lads love that. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so <laughs> old. I say that a lot. Most of my life. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. It's good that you can sprint there. You've I've done it. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. Try to exercise regularly. That worked out great. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in on the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on the Nerd! Way. Go. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approaching for help. Uh, excuse me, do you know where um, Mr. Vega's classroom is? The youth turns uh, around and looks me up and down with heavy lined eyes. Uh, uh, come on kid, I'm late for a meeting. Stop, stop fantasizing about killing yourself, please. Uh, Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know, have you tried the accent? Funny joke, kid. <laughs> okay, wise guy. Are you gonna help me out or not? <sighs> Flying up those stairs into the left. Can't miss him. I head upstairs and walk around. Fucking I'm able to nerd. find Mr. Vega's classroom anyway. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk you sent me on a wild goose chase. Loser. Fucking dick. <laughs> I, dick to, I get back to where that low rent Gerard Way is standing. Hey <laughs> man. Fully ready to give him a piece of my mind and my dick. Oh, I mean, um, that's uh, illegal. Uh, how old is he? Is this legal? Am I going to get In arrested? America, 60 FBI, open up. Down on the ground. 
when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? Oh, fine, Mr. Vega. Hmm. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. Fucking nerd. We're not cool. Um, you must be Liam. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? I'll wait in your mm -hmm. back. Oh, yes. Mr. Vega leads me in and I take a seat in one of the comically small children's student's desk in the back. I might get stuck in this. You look like you've been stuck in that. Alright, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Um. Yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. <laughs> the whole class erupts in laughter. <laughs> alright, alright everybody, very funny Colin, please sit down, you've got oh. so much detention. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... The bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately I, I was in the middle of a lesson. And make a break from the door. Remember, oh, remember to do the reading. Uh, and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Fucking oh. kids. Or not, I guess. Mr. Vega turns to me and sighs. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? I don't know. Uh, both, you know, budget cuts. Damn. Right? Oh. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Uh, Mr. Vega? Hmm? Please, call me Hugo. Uh. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student and I'm concerned about her recent behaviour. What's going on? She's it's... been doing drugs, she's been saying fires, she put that goth kid in a locker, oh. and I don't mean just shove him in a bit, I mean she literally put him in there and kicked the door closed. Oh, he no. was locked in there for four hours. Oh no. It was hilarious, but oh. we can't encourage that kind of behaviour. It all started with those bloody cookies. Also. She knocked one of my books on my desk on the floor, and that's... You don't touch my books. Not the books. You don't, oh god. You don't touch my books. Uh, not the books. She made fun <sighs> of my glasses. Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk this up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Uh, I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? I haven't noticed anything different about her, but she always tends to put on a happy face, no matter what. Bless oh. her. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance if she keeps heading down this road. Hmm. I know how important our school is to her, and I'd hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Oh, please, call me Mr. Vega. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> On my way out, I stop. Thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. What do I call you? Hey, Mr. Vega. Hugo. Hey, please, call Mr. me Mr. Vega. Hugo. No, Mr. Vega. Hugo. Please call me... Hugo. <laughs> Hugo! <laughs> please call me Mr. Hugo. Hmm? Yes? They ever catch that right? Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the classroom and make my way out to school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always, always been a, such a force of positivity in my life, especially when we lost her mother. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. Maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Mm, yeah. I pull up to the carpool and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. What's up, fuckface? Did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega, I mean Hugo, and I actually- I mean Mr. Hugo! And I actually just gossiped about our celebrity gorgeous. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? I don't know who that is. Neither do I. <laughs> it was a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry, can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Yes! We can make something at home, let's go to the mall for a door. For more door. This, for more door. This, does this sound good to you? Yeah, oh. sure, why the mall? Jeez, can't a dad take his door to the mall? I, uh, will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Yes! Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a short wall. Short wall? Short, short wall. wall. Short wall. Amanda plays a game on the phone. I should say something. I fucking hate Candy Crush! You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. 
And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, but also, sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. I don't get it. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. No, I mean, not. I was in a sick scar band. It was awful. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, it's good to share. I love you. Sharing's for nerds. Uh, have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter. Hmm. What? Never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Hugo said you haven't been participating <laughs> it's Mr. in Mr. Vega. Class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. Eh? It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to a stoplight, and I am, I am Amanda. She's still texting. Just... I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. And I mean anything. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Even that sweet, sweet penis. Yes. Uh-huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Um, I heard Emmy R Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. How did you hear that? Yep. 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 That's right. Uh, are you are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's uh, don't think you'd get it. Okay. Fine. I'm not down with the kids. No, nope. you're sure not. Who are you texting? Cut your ponytail, Noah. <laughs> My ponytail is absolutely fine. It's a good look, and it makes me totally look like I'm not trying to hide Dad. the fact that I'm in my 40s, Dad. and I'm struggling in a midlife crisis. The light went trying, green five I'm minutes trying ago. to make myself look younger, damn it. It's gone red again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Noah? Your bot, my friend. Does he go to your school? Hmm. Bitch, he might do. <laughs> do you like Noah? What? No! Dad! Ah! I can't believe you would! Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you? Ugh. Oh, gross. Sorry. I like his peenie. Sorry. Just asking. <laughs> Just wanna know, are you using protection? No. No one uses protection, Dad. That's lame. I never understand what the kids are down with these I've days. I've had seven kids. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Hmm. Okay. Obviously not. Okay. Jeez. This is going well. This is going very well. <laughs> just well, sort of. good talk. Love you, kiddo. Now, oh. get fuck out of my car. Get that dick. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. To the mall! We arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping centre with a couple of different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Fucker kids! Get away from there! Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. <laughs> Hell yeah! Language, Missy. <laughs> we don't use that sort of language in our Christian family We're household. a proper Christian household. Mm. Heck yeah! Better. That's good. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. I love greasy restaurants. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread with cheese in it? Or do you just want me to inject the fat right into your bloodstream? God, I could go for some heroin right now. I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honors of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips and a naturally orange cheese from a very enthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. Fucking love a naturally orange cheese. I asked him where he gets the good stuff from, and he hands me a little doobie under the table. Robert. We smoke it there and then, and we develop the munchies and dig in to our unnaturally orange cheesy chips. I went through nine plates of chips. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. You are stoned. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So. <laughs> something's been bothering me for a while. <laughs> Can you explain memes to me? Oh! I don't understand. Why is this cat here? What is Spider-Man shouting at other Spider-Man? What is going on? Can you describe to me the Maymays? <sighs> Which meme? Oh, 
<laughs> all of the memes. Oh no. Everyone! All memes. Oh. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people. They get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done the joke to death. Uh. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it. It's not funny. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> <laughs> I had like a half second delay where I looked at you and I was like, is he gonna? And then you absolutely did. Very happy. Dad, please. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that golf store? What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish themselves and, and the establishment is like the exact representation of the establishment. Yeah, I... I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically the assault and what people fought so hard for against in pub, punk and hardcore movements in the 70s and 80s. For or against, Dad? Dude, you got to be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time? Oh, that one! Yeah! Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. There it is! You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so proud. Yeah. Speech! Speech! Amanda. Speech! 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 Alright, I'll do it if you stop <laughs> chanting. Yay. Amanda <laughs> stops immediately. I clear my throat. <clears> throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that will forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Lemon had so much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead, goth and beyond by rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise which to this day remains our possessions. Thank you. Amanda is moved. She begins clapping. Slow at first, then faster, more vigorously. Several of her other patients turn their head. One of them also starts clapping. Woo! I bow my head. Oh, hey, chain wallets. While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest for myself. Not much for a dad to look at in the dead goth and beyond. What do you want? One of those hot deals. I'm dad. I'm looking for the hot looking deals. Looking for the hottest deals. There's a big cardboard box of markdown items. I'm pretty sure four dollars for purple eyeliner is a good deal. I think. I have no idea. I wonder if I'd look good in purple eyeliner. I Damn right you it. would. Fucking Robert would be like, oh fuck! Hell yes, I would. <laughs> look, this is very important to me. <laughs> oh damn, he looks like a vampire. I had a feeling that's who it was, but I wasn't sure. What's his name? The stat. Uh, you'll find out. I overhear a stifled argument. Is it gonna be like Vladimir? Maybe? I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. What? Listen, when I bought this online, the website said that this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Uh, is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. Huh. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out. Fucking bullshit is what it is. His literal coattails trailing <laughs> behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian expires or Edwardian immature. They're technically both. There's an overlap. Amanda drops up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, no. Hey, Dad Tron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. 
For now, Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair! The cashier says nothing and brings Amanda up. Radiating hatred. <laughs> I hand her a 20. <clears throat> so what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. Oh my eyes! That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. Damien? Is he the Antichrist? Bitch, he might be. She hands Amanda a bag and it's clear the conversation is over. Get the fuck out of my shop. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Don't come back! Amanda Sorry. and I sit on the couch, trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers is on. Your favourite, right? I'd wash the shit oh, out of So would I. Oh, hell yes. They'll have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but they're also hunting ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> also, the trucks are haunted. <laughs> This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truckers riding... The, <laughs> the twin brother truck driving a ghost hunting duo find themselves... Two brothers! And there's a Mexican armada and they've got a close bond. <laughs> and they're really gonna kick things into high gear. As they find themselves in the greatest peril yet. And then tomatoes. Oh no, the dust got, 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 got control of the truck. I, I can't steer him on their damn ice roads. Let me use the ZMP me to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like a saying, You're gonna die. <laughs> That's because we're about to die, you. This is our. The episode ends, and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. Those fucking idiots! They think teeth as tits should be tiny! I'll prove them wrong! I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint, Dogbone, after the disastrous ice road accident. Afterwards, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Now! We can call it. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable stopping point. That is a good stopping point. That's a day over. Uh, we get, we're getting through the days. Oh, you're sleeping, but what will happen next? Well, unfortunately, y'all at home are going to have to tune in next time to find On out. Dragon Ball Z. On Dragon Ball Z. On Daddy Dream Z. Goku done did the Demiki, and now him and C Christian Stewart must fight. I hope they don't hit each other too hard. But maybe they'll hit each other really hard. Oh. And there'll be some sensual lovemaking. Next time on Dragon Ball Naruto Bleach Z. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. I understood that <laughs> reference. Yes. So, before we leave off, just quickly, got any favourites yet? Any dads catching your eye? Um, I don't know. Favorite? Matt's still up there. Matt's pretty high up. Dark, there. mysterious, and forceful is interesting. Dark, mysterious, and respectful of boundaries. True. The moment you're like, I don't know, he immediately stepped back. And that's, that's more than most men do. Forceful in the moment. But respectful outside of it. Yes, so he's a good boy. Anyone else? Uh, Damien could be interesting. He's interesting. That's not a good first impression. No, uh, yelling at uh, retail staff no, doesn't really do much to win me over, I'm afraid. Yeah, the ang's eccentric nature could be interesting. That's we, true. We will see next time. Next time. We hope to see you there because there's going to be more fucking hunky daddies. That's going to be good. Yeah, you can decide if there's a comma in that sentence. There is, and there isn't. The comma isn't where you think it is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we shall see you next time. Toodles! Toodles! Goodbye!